Good day everyone, Maggie B here for Apps for iPads with this Friday's edition of Tips and Tricks. Today I have an exciting one for you and I'm going to show you exactly how you can take and you can transfer digital library books to your iPad. Now, Bluefire Productions actually came out with this iPad app a couple weeks ago, but it wasn't functioning fully because a lot of us could actually transfer the books over to our iPad, but then we would get an error message when we try to open them up. Bluefire assured us that they would be working on this, and sure enough, with uh, the revision 1.2 that was just released late last night in the Apple App Store, we can now read our library books on our iPads. Now I think if I can do this through my library system then I think almost everybody can and I hope you can too and I'm going to show you how you do it right now. First thing I want you to do is to go over to bluefirereader.com and as you can see on their homepage, they support a number of mobile uh, devices and they're all about choice and that's exactly how we feel here at appsforipads.net well, I buy my good share of ebooks, I also use my public library. There's times for both, there's a reason for both, and I'm a big proponent of supporting our local library. It just gives you more choices, and that's what we're all about at Apps for iPads, is giving you those choices. So I'm going to show you exactly how you're going to set this up so that you can do it too. If you click on Help and Support at the top of their homepage, you're going to come over, and the first fact you're going to see is, can I open my library books in Blue Fire Reader? And it right now is a resounding yes with a big exclamation point. With update 1.2 of Blue Fire Reader, you can do exactly that. If you click on right here, it's going to take you over to their support page that's going to show you in text exactly what I'm going to tell you and show you on the video. The first thing they're going to tell you is that you need three pieces of software. Now, don't panic. They're all free, and it's very simple to do. You're also going to need your PC and your iPad. Yes, you do need a PC because we use Adobe Digital Editions for this. And until Mr. Jobs gives us the go-ahead that we can put Flash on our iPads, which I hope is soon since Mac Airbooks are allowed to decide. I hope we can too. But until that happens, we need a workaround, and this is exactly that. So you're going to need the Digital Editions. You're also going to need Apple iTunes. You already have it because you have iPad. So that's how you're syncing and you're getting your updates and everything. So that's a no-brainer. That's already done. The third thing you're going to need is the Blue Fire Reader app. And I'm going to tell you in just a minute how you can get that. Okay? So when you click on the Digital Editions link, it's going to take you over to the Adobe Digital Editions web, web page. And if you scroll down, you're going to see this block here on the left-hand side that says Adobe Digital Editions Installer with a launch button. Now, you have to be on your computer to do this because this is this is Adobe Flash technology and you can't do that on your iPad. This is a fast free download. It's a standalone installer. It's all point and click. Just click on that launch button. It's all point and click. Do exactly what it brings up on your screen in the boxes and you'll be good to go. So when you've done that, you end up with this on your desktop of your PC. It's Adobe Digital Editions and this is what it looks like. You're looking at the library. I have already downloaded a couple of books and transferred them over to my iPad to make sure that this is all working for you. Because again, that's what we're all about at Apps for iPads. We actually try out all of our uh, all of the applications before we do our reviews. We are very critical. We dissect everything. We're not uh, a site that does uh, cut, paste, and regurgitate. So while we don't put up quite as much um, content as maybe some of the bigger guys with full staffs, we have really looked everything over for you and we really appreciate your being here. So uh, we'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear from you in our comments section too. Anyhow, once you have this on your computer, you need to have it on your iPad. So what I want you to do is I want you on your iPad to go to your browser and come over to appsforipads.net. I want you to go to the article that is on downloading the library books to your iPad, scroll to the bottom of the article and click on the icon that says Blue Reader, Blue Fire Reader, download here. Okay, and it will take you exactly right to the page that you need to be. It's absolutely free. Don't worry about it. I'm not, you know, this, I'm not getting anything out of this. I just want to share because I'm very excited about it. So this is a free iPad app. 
go ahead, click on that. It'll take you to the App Store, exactly where you need to be in the App Store. Fill in your password and let it download to your iPad, okay? So you got that going? All right, so go ahead, set your iPad down, come back to your PC, and the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to go over to my library and to its, the downloadable digital library and show you how these work and how we're going to get them from the library to our computer and then onto our iPad. I, I want to assure you right now, these steps are all things that are going to come very natural to you. And today it's going to take you a few extra minutes, maybe up to 15 minutes. But this is something that after the first time, I assure you that it is only going to take you maybe upwards of two minutes. That's it. No longer to get this all done and on your iPad and reading. So as you can see in my digital library, there's all sorts of books. There's most popular, always available. Those are usually public domain uh, books, newly released, recently returned. Yes, they do return. Uh, digital books aren't, um, are just like a regular library book. They do get returned. Um, don't worry, they take care of themselves. Anyhow, I'm going to say in view all, I want to look at all the ebooks. And right at the very top of the page, it's going to say Adobe PDF ebook and Adobe EPUB books. Those are the types of books that you can transfer from Adobe Digital Editions from your um, computer to the iPad. So all these will work. This, um, this is fine. So um, the first thing we want to do is let's say we want to go to most popular. Okay. Um, place a DLL hold means that all the licenses are currently being used so they don't have any to, to let out to you. That's why there's a return policy. So when those are returned and they automatically do that, they just like expire out of your uh, digital editions, you'll go in there and it'll have an expired sticker over it and then you can just delete it. Um, as I go through here, Let's find one. Add to DLL cart. Okay, so this is a Nora Roberts book, The Search. I can say add to DLL cart. It shows it to me in the cart. It shows me again it's an EPUB book, which is a compatible uh, type of file. It'll let me do it for 21 days, and I say proceed to checkout. Okay, so... Um, Again, it's going to ask me at checkout to confirm this is exactly the book that I want. It's an EPUB book. It lets me, on mine anyhow, determine how long I want to keep it, and I confirm the checkout. Now it shows me the book, and it says, click here to download the software needed to use this Adobe EPUB ebook title. I don't need to do that, neither do you, because remember, we already have downloaded the digital editions, and that takes care of it. So I'm just going to click on Download. And I'm going to say save it to my desktop and save. Okay, so it's downloaded it. It's already there. Now I'm in Chrome browser, so I could double click here. If you don't use Chrome, come out here and you'll see it's saved it right to your desktop. It's right here. This is an ACSM file. This is not the book. What this is is a, is a file that tells your computer and the library. It syncs them up and it tells it to send it to the digital edition. So I'm going to double click on that. It's going to open this up, and you can see it just downloaded it that fast, and here it is ready to, to read on my computer. But it's still on my computer, and it's not on the iPad, so we need to get it onto the iPad. So what I want to do is I want to, first of all, open up my Windows library and go to Documents. Scroll down and come to My Digital Editions. And in here, I am going to look for the book. And here it is, the search, EPUB. Okay, it's an EPUB file. Okay, and it shows that it was just downloaded. Okay, and then the next thing I want to do is I want to come over to... Um, my iTunes, open it up, click on my iPad. Okay, there's my iPad. All right, now what I want you to do is I want you to click on the apps button at the top. 
you probably only use this to do syncing. There's lots more you can do with this. When you go to the apps button, it's going to show you all the apps that you have on your iPad. And when you come down here, you come to file sharing. Click on Blue Fire Reader, and it's going to show you all the files that are on your iPad for your Blue Fire Reader. Now, what I'm going to want you to do is I want you to grab the EPUB book or the PDF book, whichever it is, from your documents library and just grab it and drag it over into the Blue Fire documents. It's going to very quickly sync it to your iPad and that fast it is now available on your iPad. If you then open up your iPad and open up your Blue Fire Reader, go ahead, try it. It's, it's amazing. It's there. It's ready to read. It's fully scrollable. It works just like any other ebook on um, on your iPad. It's amazing. It's fast. It's easy. Believe me, once you have all the software set up, that might take you 12 to 15 minutes. Other than that, it's a two-minute job, and you're done, and you're reading. So there you have it. Taking your library books, taking them from your library, putting them on your computer, and then just dragging them right onto your iPad. Quick and easy. Maggie B for Maps for iPads. See you on the website, and sync with you soon.